Why is printing to stout so slow? Can it be sped up? I've always been amazed slash frustrated with how long it takes to simply output to the terminal with a print statement. After some recent painfully slow logging I decided to look into it and was quite surprised to find that almost all the time spent is waiting for the terminal to process the results. Can writing to stout be sped up somehow? I wrote a script, print underscore timer dot pi at the bottom of this question, to compare timing when writing 100k lines to stout, to file, and with stout redirected to slash dev slash null. Here is the timing result. Wow! To make sure Python isn't doing something behind the scenes like recognizing that I reassigned stout to slash dev slash null or something, I did the redirection outside the script. So it isn't a Python trick, it is just the terminal. I always knew dumping output to slash dev slash null sped things up, but never figured it was that significant. It amazes me how slow the T is. How can it be that writing to physical disk is way faster than writing to the screen, presumably an all RAM op, and is effectively as fast as simply dumping to the garbage with slash dev slash null? This link talks about how the terminal will block I.O. so it can parse, the input, update its frame buffer, communicate with the X server in order to scroll the window and so on, but I don't fully get it. What can be taking so long? I expect there is no way out, short of a faster to implementation? But figure I'd ask anyway. Update. After reading some comments I wondered how much impact my screen size actually has on the print time, and it does have some significance. The really slow numbers above are with my known terminal blown up to 1920 by 1200. If I reduce it very small I get. That is certainly better, till before x, but doesn't change my question. It only adds to my question as I don't understand why the terminal screen rendering should slow down an application writing to stout. Why does my program need to wait for screen rendering to continue? Are all terminal slash t apps not created equal? I have yet to experiment. It really seems to me like a terminal should be able to buffer all incoming data, parse slash render it invisibly, and only render the most recent chunk that is visible in the current screen configuration at a sensible frame rate. So if I can write plus sync to disk in tilde 0.1 seconds, a terminal should be able to complete the same operation in something of that order, with maybe a few screen updates while it did it. I'm still kind of hoping there is a T setting that can be changed from the application side to make this behavior better for programmer. If this is strictly a terminal application issue, then this maybe doesn't even belong on Stack Overflow. What am I missing? Here is the Python program used to generate the timing. Thanks for all the comments. I've ended up answering it myself with your help. It feels dirty answering your own question, though. Question 1, 
Why is printing to stout slow? Answer, printing to stout is not inherently slow. It is the terminal you work with that is slow. And it has pretty much zero to do with I.O. buffering on the application side, e.g., Python file buffering. See below. Question 2, can it be sped up? Answer, yes it can, but seemingly not from the program side, the side doing the printing to stout. To speed it up, use a faster different terminal emulator. Explanation. I tried a self-described lightweight terminal program called Term and got significantly better results. Below is the output of my test script. At the bottom of the question, when running in Term at 1920 by 1200 and on the same system where the basic print option took 12s using GNOME Terminal. Zero point two six S is much better than twelves. I don't know whether Term is more intelligent about how it renders the screen along the lines of how I was suggesting, render the visible tail at a reasonable frame rate, or whether it just is less than GNOME Terminal. For the purposes of my question I've got the answer, though. GNOME Terminal is slow. So, if you have a long running script that you feel is slow and it spews massive amounts of text to stow, try a different terminal and see if it is any better. Note that I pretty much randomly pulled a term from the Ubuntu slash Debian repositories. This link might be the same terminal, but I'm not sure. I did not test any other terminal emulators. Update, because I had to scratch the itch, I tested a whole pile of other terminal emulators with the same script in full screen, 1920 by 1200. My manually collected stats are here. The recorded times are manually collected, but they were pretty consistent. I recorded the best ish value. Inf, obviously. As a bonus, it was an interesting tour of some of the various terminal emulators available out there. I'm amazed my first alternate test turned out to be the best of the bunch. How can it be that writing to physical disk is way faster than writing to the screen, presumably an all RAM op, and is effectively as fast as simply dumping to the garbage with slash dev slash no? Congratulations, you have just discovered the importance of IO buffering. Smile. The disk appears to be faster, because it is highly buffered, all Python's write calls are returning before anything is actually written to physical disk. The OS does this later, combining many thousands of individual writes into a big, efficient chunks. The terminal, on the other hand, does little or no buffering, each individual print, write line waits for the full write, i.e. display to output device to complete. To make the comparison fair, you must make the file test use the same output buffering as the terminal, which you can do by modifying your example too. I ran your file writing test on my machine, and with buffering, it also 0.05 s here for 100,000 lines. However, with the above modifications to write unbuffered, it takes 40 seconds to write only 1,000 lines to disk. I gave up waiting for 100,000 lines to write, but extrapolating from the previous, it would take over an hour. That puts the terminal's 11 seconds into perspective, doesn't it? So to answer your original question, writing to a terminal is actually blazingly fast, all things considered, and there's not a lot of room to make it much faster, but individual terminals do vary in how much work they do, see Russ's comment to this answer. You could add more write buffering, like with disk IO, but then you wouldn't see what was written to your terminal until after the buffer gets flushed. It's a trade-off, interactivity versus bulk efficiency.
Your redirection probably does nothing as programs can determine whether their output FD points to a T. It's likely that stout is line buffered when pointing to a terminal, the same as C stout stream behavior. As an amusing experiment, try piping the output to CAT. I've tried my own amusing experiment, and here are the results. I can't talk about the technical details because I don't know them, but this doesn't surprise me, the terminal was not designed for printing lots of data like this. Indeed, you even provide a link to a load of GUI stuff that it has to do every time you want to print something. Notice that if you call the script with Python instead, it does not take 15 seconds, this is entirely a GUI issue. Redirect stout to a file to avoid this.